Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for a new series on the channel, and today we are bringing back Minecraft The Lord of the Rings. That is correct, when I ended off the last season of this, it sort of ended a bit on um, plan because I got a virus on my computer and the world got corrupted, but I have taken your criticism uh, from the last season and brought it into this one. So the main things were, I put a poll saying should I restart or should I end, and by the time I gave it 12 hours, everyone was saying end. But then I looked at it like a month later, two months later, and it was overwhelming to say restart. So I'm bringing it back, and so I've taken some criticism and brought it back. So what people have been saying was uh, the episodes were getting a little repetitive uh, by getting just going to new, uh, a new place every single time and doing the exact same thing and then going home. This time we aren't going to have a home, we are going to be a wandering traveller and we are going to try and make ourselves from here in the Shire and we're just going to see where we end up, just sort of set a goal to head to a random place and sort of wander around the place. I'm not going to be using fast travel this season, uh, like unlike last season, so I'm going to be walking everywhere. Uh, I do understand that the frame rate is slightly low. I'm getting a new computer soon, so that will change as the series progresses. But it's been two months since the last se series, and I've had lots of comments saying bring back Minecraft The Lord of the Rings. And just a few more things I've done is I've become a more lore-friendly kind of skin. I've just sort of become this little peasant guy who's just going to be... It's going to be my character for this season. I'm just going to wander around as him. And I've also been asked to rather than work it off a mod pack actually work it off my own thing so I can keep up to date with all the updates so I've got the latest update of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings but that's not the only mod I have in here so this is I believe that's all still Lord of the Rings if we scroll through uh, all the Lord of the Rings stuff in NEI. NEI is one of the other mods that I have in here but I also have another mod in here the spawners are a little laggy. Where is it? Backpacks! I have got backpacks in the mod pack and that's one of the first things we're going to be trying to craft because the reason I have backpacks is so I can carry my inventory on my back in these pouches that we have here. I'm going to basically keep a hold of all these pouches and I'm not going to actually need these chests because chests aren't a thing that we're actually going to be keeping too much of a hold of because we don't need them we've got pouches so pouches are what we're going to be keeping our stuff in uh I, how is this how you craft a large pouch i don't know pouch let's let's search it with our nei let's put pouch how do you craft these things you can't craft them so i guess we're gonna have to find pouches and use them but yeah we have started off in the shire as usual there's been lots of updates to this so there's the white downs now. Was that there before? I don't actually know, but yeah, we are here. We are sort of wandering around by Waymeet. I'll we'll try and stick kind of to the road and we'll sort of wander around Hobbiton for the first part of this episode and do some quests as usual. Collect up some resources, never know what you might need, and just definitely not eat all the food like that. But get food. Food is a priority that we're going to want to have. We'll probably want some uh, a hobbit craft. We'll, we'll, want, we'll want crafting tables of every single different type. So we'll grab up some crafting tables. We'll have a crafting table pouch. And we'll also grab this. So we'll just have these so we can plonk them down on the move. This person had a quest. What is your quest? Seven cooked pork chops. I don't have any. Uh, maybe. Oh, a bed is a definitely a thing we do need. So we'll grab up this straw bed. And yeah, this, this season's going to be... Uh, similar to the other season, but also different enough so it doesn't feel like I'm repeating it. Because I really enjoyed the last season, but I don't think I could do it all again. So instead of having uh, a house that we go back to every single... Oh, yes, a large pouch. Perfect. It's exactly what I want. Good. Right. Um, yeah, so instead of having a, ha a base camp in a hobbit hole... Do we, do we have four books? We do. Congrats. There we go. We completed a quest. Good. And I swear we are going to find one day a chest under these carpets. But, yeah, so we're just going to collect up as much food and stuff as we can. What's this? 
cornbread. Um, cor cooked corn. Let's try and get rid of raw food and stuff that isn't going to be providing too much energy. But yeah, we're, we're basically... Oh, why can I eat all of the cakes? Okay. But anyway, we're basically going to be doing a very similar thing with enough differentiation that it doesn't feel like the same. So, we're not going to have a base camp or anything. We're just going to keep walking, walking around the place. And I'm actually probably not going to do too many cuts. So, it feels very raw. So, this season will be able to be kept going for ages because... I'm planning on not doing any cuts in this, just do it a one half an hour long recording clip of what we do. And I know that means we won't get as much progress done as if I was to keep the uh, same format as last time where we'd take jump cuts and go to different places, but I like the idea that this season is going to be more raw than the other one. I don't want I don't want small pouches, small, uh, medium and large are the only pouches I'm going to collect, we don't want conkers either. We'll have some more books though, because people seem to like books in quests. Um, okay, so we got more apple juice. We don't really want that. Cooked fish will take. Uh, roast turnip sounds alright. We don't want any alcohol. Mushroom pie is probably a good thing to hold on to. Let's put these eggs back. Let's first and foremost make this pouch our food pouch. So we'll rename that to food pouch. Food, food pouch. There we go, and we'll stick all the food we get in this one. It's not food. Um, just so we can hold on to different foods and stuff in here. And so we don't run out of food anytime soon. So we'll keep that in there, and whenever we need food, we'll go into that one. And then we'll... I'm going to drink this apple juice. Why not? Oh, placed it. Didn't mean to do that, but whatever. But yeah, this season is going to be nice, because it's going to feel more raw. It's going to... You're going to see everything that ever happens. As boring or as interesting as it gets, you're going to see it all. So, basically, first and foremost, we're going to run around Hobbiton, well not Hobbit Hobbiton, uh, the Shire, and collect up as much resources as we can and see if we can craft ourselves a backpack. Uh, we want a large backpack, so we need tanned leather from bound leather. So we need string and leather. And then we can have a backpack, and that's where we can keep our pouches. Nope. Uh, and in our pouches is where we're going to keep all of our stuff. But basically, This was the hobbit hole I already went into. Oh dear. Well, essentially the idea of this season is keep it raw, keep it real. And do an exploration series like last time that you guys are going to enjoy. And by not having jump cuts, that means editing times are cut down, which means rendering times are cut down, which means more episodes more frequently when school starts. I'm basically planning ahead because in a couple weeks' time I will be going back to school. I will be going and starting my first year of the sixth form at my school, which means A-levels, and perfect, we got cows. So we're going to try and punch a few of these to death, but that means I'm going to have very, very little time to actually put into this YouTube thing. So... Come here. Um, yeah, it's basically meaning by plan by making this season a thing, I can put the SMPDX episodes out on the weekends or something when I have a lot of time to edit them, and when I actually have a lot of time to sort out and edit the all the jump cuts because they take a hell of a lot of time. And then of this season on the side to put out as much as possible when I have a free half an hour uh, to record it, and I could put just chuck this out every so often. To keep you guys entertained, because I know you guys actually really like this Lord of the Rings series, but I mean, you may not like it now. I'm cutting back on the amount of time it takes, but by doing this, it means you guys get more episodes, you guys get more of me entertaining you with punching cows and such. And you get more episodes and less lag time on my channel. There has been two weeks of lag time, that's just because I've been away and needing time. Well, needing breaks from YouTube and just normal Minecraft in general because vanilla Minecraft when it's good at all It gets a little boring sometimes so uh, This cow is running circles around me. I don't believe it. There we go It gets a little boring and, it, and basically you need a break so by coming on here and playing Lord of the Rings once again This is sort of my escape where I can come and 
basically have good fun. This plate. <laughs> I love throwing the plates on the floor. So actually, if we keep my food pouch on our hot bar, we can put our food in there. We don't have any more leather. We can stick that in there as well. And yeah, we just need a little more leather. But it basically means you get a nice balance between high quality, super edited, super progress filled vanilla episodes that come out every couple weeks and you also get other videos that you can watch in the meantime like my Lord of the Rings ones which I mean they cater to two different audiences and uh, what I've discovered is 75% uh, of my audience likes Lord of the Rings and 15% of my audience, well no 25% of my audience likes vanilla SMPDX stuff and then there's a very small percentage who like both and another very small percentage who just like the tutorials. So again, it's it's a balance that you've got to meet when having a YouTube channel and by doing this season like this I feel like I'm going to be able to meet that balance more successfully than if I was to have, uh, not this season but uh, like if I was to end Lord of the Rings like I was planning to, like I basically was going to, but by doing this season like this, it's just a lot nicer to be able to do it, have a video out, and sort of go back to when Minecraft videos were just half an hour sitting down and play, whereas this time it's adventuring, and I mean, with an adventuring series, you like it to be raw, so having it a raw like this, without any jump cuts, without any editing, unless I really need to. Um, makes the Minecraft video feel a lot raw and nicer. And a lot of people will say that's just me being lazy, but it's literally just me catering for my audiences, because it, when I start school, I mean, I wanted to get daily videos out this summer, I haven't been able to do that because of busyness, and it's only going to get worse when we actually get to school, because, I mean, you can't control how uh, much homework and stuff you get piled upon you. So, I'm going to be definitely have a lot of work where I'm not actually going to be able to keep on top of maybe even weekly videos when I get back to school. So, that was if I was continuing to do the highly edited SMPDX stuff as the full-time thing. But, by having this... Is this flax? It is a flax plant. So how do I get flax from a flax plant? Flax. So how do I get that? Um, oh, okay, so you have to plant it from seeds. So we're going to cultivate some flax now. Because flax is how you get string, basically. Oh, we have string. But not enough. We need a little more string. Okay. Um... Oh yeah, I need to find a farm. I mean, I feel like I don't need flax plant. I'll keep a couple seeds. I don't need to get flax to get my string. Because there's probably a lot of string in hobbit holes and stuff that I can raid. But there's also definitely going to be string in, I mean, a flax plantation in a little hobbit farmhouse. So I don't need to waste my time getting a hoe or anything. I need to just look around. But basically, as I was saying, this is going to be a nice series that I'm just going to be chill with, I'm just going to not worry too much about editing, about anything really, I'm just going to take it chill, play it as I'm playing Minecraft, because, like, you have to realise, oh dear, what, what did I just drink? <laughs> I thought it was just like cherry juice, oh no, I, I genuinely thought it was just going to be some sort of like cherry juice or something, but... Oh wow, I'm just off my face now, aren't I? Let's see if we can get to the chest. Come on. No, that's... Bookshelf? You can store books and paper in bookshelves. When was that added to Lord of the Rings? String! Perfect, we got enough. No, we don't. We need a lot of string. A lot more than that. It's not one-to-one, -one. it's like... Oh, it's not even one-to-one -one leather either. Okay, well, I need to get out of this drunk state. Oh my god, we got 42 seconds left of it. Right, well, whilst, whilst we do that, we'll get in here and find a crafting table. Ah, okay. Let's, go, let's do some a little bit of crafting. So, we'll get ourselves... Let's, let's get ourselves some sticks. Let's get ourselves a sword. A wooden sword. And what they've added is they've added a 
um, a thing where you can have modifiers. So at the moment, this is a sharp wooden sword and a handy wooden pickaxe. So it means you get plus what times 1.5 tool speed plus not basically it's randomized with tools and you can reforge them in anvils to basically make it a little better there we go we're sorted so basically if you want to make your tool better you got to reforge it and i just think that's a really cool kind of way to not have to enchant the tools to make them better but have a more logical real way of making them better and you've got a quest so let's have a look what you want to do four berry pie no thanks I think what we're ending up doing here is just walking around in circles a little bit. But that's not a huge issue. We're going to have to kill these Shire Ponies for leather. Perfect. We need, I think we need 16 leather. Yeah, 16 leather and like 40 string. A oh, 40 string is going to be a lot. Well, we got 15 leather. We need one more leather. And there's one more horse. Perfect. So... Can we, how do we craft string in this uh, pack? Where that, oh, I've picked it up. How do we craft string recipe? From a flax plant. So we need to go and get a flax plant from somewhere. And that is going to be around about the place. And I don't know. I mean, comment down below, right? Comment down below. Should I keep these episodes around half an hour? Or should I go for more of an hour long episode that... It's sort of more like a live stream, but isn't actually live because my internet, I don't think, will be able to handle a live stream. So, I think, and I'm, I'm just physically not able to live stream because there are always people in the house and I don't want to be interrupted live on the internet where, where I can... I've already been in this one. I've been in this one about four times now. I want to be able to control uh, if people come in. Like, I have a mute button and everything that can stop my recording. And... That's what will happen, I, and I want to be able to edit anything out that uh, I don't hear, and that happens without my knowledge. So, basically, that's why I'm not going to live stream this. But I think that I'm going to have, like, hour-long episodes, maybe? Long, long episodes of this. I think, yeah, I think I'm, I'm making a decision in my head now of keeping these sort of, like, an uh, sort of an hour sort of length. This sounds good, but if you comment down below, basically, if an hour is too long, or um, an hour is good length. So, I'm, I'm going to be going for, like, a sort of hour-long episode this episode, maybe? But, um, in future, just tell me if that was too long or not. So, we'll put our food that we just got in here. And, yeah, that's stocking up nicely. I don't think we'll run out of food too shortly. There we go. So, we need to find... Oh, there's a tavern here. We need to find ourselves a plantation that has flax plants. Because there is no way we're going to find spiders in the Shire. And that means flax plants are our source of string, apart from raiding things. There are mushrooms growing in this um, bar here. So, we need to find a plantation of flax around about the place. Is that a pipe? It's a pipe. Hobbit pipe. Oh, I'll keep hold of that. That's quite that's quite cool. Having a hobbit pipe. That's quite a cool thing to be able to hold on to. There's a chest back there, I'm assuming. Oh, there's a cellar as well. Let's go around in there. So I'm assuming there's not gonna be too much in these, but it's the cellar that I'm kind of intrigued about. There's pumpkin pie and more cornbread and stuff. That they can all go in the foodstuffs. That'll basically keep us fed up and not allow us to run out. Basically, as, soon, as whilst we're in Hobbiton, and whilst we're in sort of this area of things, we're safe. We don't need to sleep. We don't need to um, worry about food too much because there is food everywhere we turn. So we are kind of set when, whilst we're in the Shire, but as soon as we get out the Shire into the more wilderness, uh, wilderness and stuff, it's going to be slightly more challenging and that's what the thing is is as we move up in the world in minecraft the lord of the rings we're going to go to more challenging environments so at one point we will attempt to cross the dead marshes or at one point we will attempt to do this that the other but basically every single time uh we change environments and i'm not going to be doing one biome per episode i'm going to sort of spread it out a bit more so we may have two or three episodes down in the shire 
And once I feel comfortable that we've stocked up on food and such, uh, we will move out. Let's grab, let's grab uh, some cornbread down here. I don't know how much that heals up, but we'll keep that on the hotbar. But yeah, basically, and I'm not doing a minimap this season either, because people are complaining about the minimap covering the compass. And, I mean, who's going to have a minimap if they were actually in the world? So I'm sort of playing this as if I am there and I don't have too much extra knowledge about where certain structures and stuff are. All I know is sort of the general layout of the world. So, basically, yeah, that's what I'm working off. And I need to find a farm in the next sort of, uh, in the next couple of minutes and I'm, I may toy with the idea of putting music behind uh, these videos, this hour long thing. I may just put some Vinsvet behind there or something. Something nice, calm, but not too intrusive and that could keep uh, a nice sort of entertaining factor about the video. So yeah, essentially, all right, more string, good. Basically, I'm gonna keep just, I'm just gonna play this sort of series by ear and sort of just work off the comments, work off what you guys want and we'll play it from there. If you have noticed, my audio should be a lot better than the last season because I'm now using Audacity. I mean, if you're watching my SMPDX uh, 3 series on the Amplified World, you will already know that I'm... Oh, we'll sleep. Uh, well, I wasn't planning to sleep, but we will. But you already know that my audio is getting better. I'm editing my audio more, and I've also got new editing software, meaning editing will be better, but editing is not really what we're focusing on on this world. So you probably won't notice the editing too much. But essentially, yeah, we're sort of gonna wander around until we find uh, some sort of flax plantation in uh, some farms and stuff. So hopefully we'll come across a farm soon enough. But have we found the river? Nope, that's just a lake that's not on the map, so it shouldn't be too hard to cross. Uh, I say that and it's absolutely huge. So we'll sort of go around it but yeah flax plantation we need and then we can have a backpack and then we'll be able to put our pouches in our backpack and have a sort of f more free inventory and be able to carry a lot more items and collect a lot more stuff and basically I'm gonna be touring Middle Earth as if I'm just a traveler and I haven't really got any home or anything and different biomes we will take refuge in different houses if we need so say we're in Angmar or something and we're getting attacked by orcs of various different shapes and sizes Just take refuge in an Angmar tower block up the entrances and Barricade ourselves in there for a Mordor take same thing take refuge in a Mordor tower for in Gondor And we accidentally anger the locals by killing a horse or something killing one of the riders Okay, we need to eat now. How much does cornbread do? Oh same as regular bread. It's just I guess made of corn but, yeah, basically, we're not going to really have such safety as a home. We're just going to sort of play it by ear and travel. And the, the reason this series is called Overhill is because... I, I, like, I like that, because all we are literally doing is travelling on foot over hill and travelling around. And it's going... Re it's like just a nice sort of thing. And it's... Um, a chapter from The Hobbit, Overhill and Underhill, was what the chapter was called. I didn't want to put that entire phrase. I just wanted to keep it simple at Overhill. And it's just it's just a nice thing. It represents what we're doing in the season. And I know I keep getting spiked by spiky plants, but it just sort of represents the season quite well as a name. Rather than calling it Minecraft The Lord of the Rings Season 2, calling it Overhill is just a really nice little thing to do. So... That is the reason behind the name. If you have any questions on the series, please leave a comment down below. But hopefully, sooner or later, we will come across a farm shed. I mean, they could well have been removed from the pack. Let's just eat some apples. There we go. They could well have been removed from the pack. I doubt it, but we will come across one sooner or later. And I think the first place after the Shire we want to go is head over to in the direction of the Blue Mountains because that's where I got most of my starting gear for the last season so that seems like a likely place to find some good stuff but 
we just need to... F oh, we got a quest. Okay. Three cherry pie, that... Mm, nah. We don't want to be questing too much. Questing is going to be a big part of this. That's going to what's going to be sending us to different places quite a bit. But a lot of the Hobbit quests aren't too useful. We don't really see the need to have too many alignment with Hobbits. But it, I guess it could come from useful. Now we're definitely at the river, so... Oh, look, there's Overhill. <laughs> we should just go up to Overhill for the net first um, episode. So we'll head in sort of the direction of the bridge. Hopefully come across some sort of area to get string from. We need a lot of string. And, yeah, and also what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to really do too much in between episodes. I mean, if it's something like collecting string like this, maybe I'll, like, plant flax and stuff, but... Everything that I'm going to do for this season is essentially going to be shown. I'm not going to keep a whole lot secret, basically. So, I hope you guys appreciate that. Because I know a riddle. Ooh. I have a tongue and a soul, and I am born in twins, but not alive. What am I? A tongue and a soul. Shoes. A pair of shoes. Because you have the tongue in the shoe and the sole of the shoe, and you get pairs of shoes. Oh, that's really cool that you get these little riddles. I'm actually going to hold on to that. And I'm going to hold on to all the riddles, all the different types of riddles. I didn't know they were a thing, just having riddles. Also, let's grab some of this food from here. And throw the plates and put the... Did they go straight into the pouch? Wait a minute. So we put that there. Pick that up. That's really useful, rather than keep opening the pouch and stuff. They'll go straight into the pouch. That's really... That's just a really useful thing to know, more than anything. That's... Because if we have, like, a mining pouch and put all the different ores in there, when we actually head to places like the Misty Mountains and want to go mining and get mithril and stuff, that is going to be hugely useful. And, wow, this is actually really spiky. But... That's actually really cool. I like that. That's really nice. And are we going to get to a stage of... Okay, there's a farm over there. It's a fenced area. That's orchards. So that tells me that there's going to be some sort of farm over there. However, I mean... <laughs> part of the orchard stretches across here. Uh, I think I'm going to swim over. As long as that... And long as tedious that's going to take, I'm going to. But yeah, skin. I like it. It's kind of rugged enough that it's nice. I was originally actually going to call this season Strider after Aragorn, obviously, but Strider didn't have the same feeling as Overhill because Overhill is just kind of like, we're going over hill. That's exactly what we're doing. We're going climbing over the hills and going under trees, under hill and stuff. It's just, it's just a more like, distinctive way of saying it's a series about travel, because I was going to call it, Chris, like, the journey, or the unexpected journey, or something like that, but none of them had the same flow as Overhill. It's short, gets the point across, and it's also, like, law-friendly as part of the thing, and this... Is this a tavern? Yeah, this is just a big tavern. Where are the farmhouses at? Where are we going to find ourselves a farmhouse? Because at this rate, I am thinking that planting is going to be the way forward. So this is the Fiery Ranger. It's a nice little, little pub thing. What do we have on the walls over there? Because it's the item frames that got us the stuff, that got us cool stuff like a hobbit pipe. That's a hat. That's actually cool. Let's stick that on. That's actually really nice. Uh, I don't want these pies or anything. Alright, let's leave. There's not too much I want from here. It's the Hobbit banner. That's about it. Oh, there's a quest. What do you want? 20 willow wood. That's tempting, but not useful. So yeah, we've got ourselves a hat now. That's quite cool. We could dye it blue. Should we get a blue hat? Let's do it. Nice. We have ourselves a blue hat now. Awesome. We are now the Blue Hat Traveller. Great, great, great. Alright, we need to find ourselves 
string, and lots of it. The only way we can craft it is from flax plants, so maybe it is smart to go and grow flax rather than like try and find it all the time. Was that pipeweed? It is pipeweed. So now we have pipeweed, can we smoke? We can. Haha. <laughs> That's really, I want to do that in third person. That's really cool. We're just going to smoke out this person's house. That's the best thing ever. I love, like, smoking pipe. pipe smoking weed in Lord of the Rings. Great. Let's do it. Right. So... Okay. So we have a picnic bench. There's lots of buildings up in Overhill. Well, we're sort of in the area of Overhill now, but... I mean, should we try and get to the path and go up to Overhill? Because at the moment, all we're literally finding are these small houses. Some weird obelisk thing outside of it. And we, we need string. So, I'm thinking it's probably now a good idea to actually craft ourselves a hoe and at least try to plant flax instead. Oh, there's a hobbit hole here. This one's quite covered up. Just at least try to at least get some, get some string from the flax rather than rely on finding it or looting string. Because this isn't going well. Do you have? No. Of course not. Never do. Right, let's use this crafting table. Let's get ourselves a wooden hoe. Right. We don't have any bone meal or anything, so we're going to have to play the waiting game. For flax to grow. There's more flax plants over there. But we're going to keep heading this direction. And we're going to see... If we can get ourselves string, if we can get ourselves the amount of string that we need to get pipe weed, because, yeah, it's quite a nice high point, actually. Ah, water down here, and there's the path. So, we'll plonk ourselves down here for a little bit, and plant ourselves our flax around this water. Let's plant up the flax seeds. There we go. That, that'll grow whilst we go and loot some things. More flax plants over here. Perfect. We can get more seeds and plant them up. We'll grab up all of these flax. Well, most of them. A lot of them anyway. And start cultivating a little bit of flax whilst we... Um... Yeah, whilst we keep finding areas to get string from. So we've got 30 flax seeds. Let's go over here. Sorry, I should stop sprint jumping. That's not particularly good looking in the video. So let's sort this little area out for cultivation. There we go. Let's plant up all this flax. And this, this will be grown in the next bit. So we've got to sort of remember where this is. There we go. Flax. Sorted. Right, that'll grow whilst we go and loot this over here. And I'm trying to think if we need anything else. But I don't think so. So whilst that grows over there, we'll go loot this house. And see if we can do any quests around about the place. Hopefully ones that don't involve us going too far. So hello, hello. Uh, nothing too much of interest except if we, we want this stuff. Let's chuck it on the floor and then pick it straight back up. That can go into the pouch. Another riddle. Perfect. Okay. I oh, same riddle. Is that the only riddle? I don't know. We could have just gotten lucky and found the same one twice, but we'll. Oh, they stack, so we can actually collect them. That's actually really cool. Right. So, there's a farmhouse. I think. I think that's what I saw. It is. It's a barn. 
It's a barn, and there's a farmhouse over there as well. Perfect, perfect. So hopefully we'll be finding some flax. Hopefully they will have some flax plantations. Probably not in this one, because this one's just a barn, I think. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, what are they growing? Leeks. Nope, that's not what we want. We don't want leeks. We wanted flax, but no harm in looking in the actual stable itself. It's animals climbing everywhere. Don't have too much. What, what do you sell? Trade. Okay, so they sell some bone meal. Oh no, that's that's what you can sell to them. You can buy this stuff, and that's nothing of what we need. So yeah, we don't. We, yeah, we can't buy anything of use off you. But that's quite useful. We'll yeah, because a big deal of last time we didn't actually get into was the whole trading side of things, and the whole buying and selling of resources and minerals from different uh, people in Middle Earth. So this time. By not really having too much, I can use the build-up of coins that I get from uh, doing quests and stuff to actually do something useful, like buying and selling stuff. So this time, I should actually end up using all of this stuff. And up here we have another farmhouse. Fingers crossed for flax plantation. Come on. What do you have in your garden? Carrots. Oh, not what we needed. But, not to worry, this person up here could sell string or flax. What do you sell? Trade. Uh, pipe weed leaves. All of this stuff. Nothing of use, I'm afraid. We have some hobbit pancakes, we can eat them. They, they look quite nice. But. So we'll hold on to them. But again, nothing of use, nothing that we need. That's really unfortunate. That's really not not nice. But Overhill seems to be sort of the farming area of the Hobbit area. So that's where we came from. We've got to remember that we came from the northwest. So we are going to he keep heading southeast. So we don't find ourselves lost. So it's all the northwestly direction over there is where we came from. That seems about right. And we can find ourselves some string and such. So I'm not going to be looking hugely in the hobbit holes. I'm more looking for string and flax and stuff like that. But, okay, there's the orchard over there. And loads of trees over this direction. But it doesn't seem to be too much more in the way of farms and stuff. There was a sheriff down here. Do they trade anything? Nope, they just talk. Okay. I'm trying to look for a person I can buy, like farmers and stuff that I can buy string off of. Or in fact, yeah, buy string, buy flax, any sort of thing like that. Uh, they're really useful commodities to me right now. Anything else can wait, but that's what I mean. It's, it's nice to be able to trade with people. All right, so we're back at the river now, I believe. So we'll turn around. We'll sort of head back in the vague direction of uh, my flax plants and see how they're getting on by growing. And if any are ready to harvest, I highly doubt it, but we'll check anyway. People smoking and stuff. More flax plants everywhere. I wish you could just get string straight from the raw flax plant that you find growing, but now you have to cultivate it to actually get the string. Which, I mean, that's fair enough. I mean, do we have to? Yeah. So, that is used to make that, and that is used to make that. So, we can't actually get string straight from it, but, yeah. It's not a huge bother, uh, cultivating a little bit of flax. I mean, there's a windmill over there. Do they have farmers in that will likely sell me flax and such? I don't know. We'll have a look. May as well. But, yeah. This is going quite well as an episode. Because I can talk and talk and talk and talk and ramble and talk and talk. As you will probably know from my other episodes. And this is good because this is literally just a series where I'm here playing Minecraft and rambling to you guys. And that is exactly what I love doing. Got another hobbit, a lasting hobbit pipe. And this is a hobbit pipe, so. 
plus 1.5 times durability. So we'll put this one back and trade it out. We'll grab this medium pouch. Hold on to. Anything else we need? I guess we can grab another book. But no, nothing too much else we need. Anything out of here? Drop that on the floor and pick it back up again to go into the pouch. Do you sell it? No, you don't sell anything. Right, so we need to head northwest again. Okay, so we found the path again. Perfect. The path is our marker because we can see the path from our flax plantation. So, how much do Hobbit pancakes refuel? Two by the looks of it. So that will last us a little bit. And we will run across over to our plantation of flax and be able to scoop up all of that. And hopefully it's grown a little bit. I mean, I'll be kind of annoyed if it hasn't grown whatsoever. But, okay, so... Where was our plantation in regards to that hut? Was it the other side of the path? Wait, which side of the path are we on? This one, so it is the other side of the path, okay. I almost got a little mixed up then. Um, because it is kind of hard to keep track of everything. But, I mean, if I've lost my Plax plantation, it's not going to be the end of the world. Yeah, it was next to this house over here. So, we'll get there in the end, but I just wish there was an easier way to get string rather than cultivating flax, because this is going to take forever, I think. We will see. Do we have any in flower? It's getting there by the looks of it. It's growing. Not that it's grown at all whatsoever, but we're getting there. Okay, so most of it hasn't grown. Why is that not planted? Uh, but this one's getting there, so oh, it's taking a while. Uh, let's explore. So northwest again is uh, where the plants are. So if we head in this direction this time, we should be able to find some new stuff. Here we got the path again. But ultimately, I just want to find more of those farmhouses where I can get string from if I so wish, but a good thing actually might be to follow the path up to the top of Overhill and have a look up there, because Overhill seems to be where all the farms are, whereas, yeah, oh, five string, perfect, okay, so how much string is it per leather thing, it's, it's like that much string, so, Seven string per bound leather, and we need eight bound leather, so eight times seven is 56. We need 56 leather, uh, string, and we have 14. And it's raining, but we have a quest. One cherry liquor. Oh, wow, it's thundering. This person's got a bed in here, I know that, so we'll use their bed. Hopefully pass off the weather. Now, I wonder if in that keg there is cherry liquor, because if, if so, we'll be able to give it to him, but no, it's just Perry, so... Are we still thunderstorming? Yeah, we are. Wow, okay. We're going out in the thunderstorm. Oh, wow, visibility has really decreased in the thunderstorm. We're going out in the thunderstorm. I don't mind. The rain actually should help our... Flax plants grow, I believe that's how it works, so that's a really actually quite a good thing. But, okay, we have more sheriffs and such over here. These guys all have their hats on. I've got my blue hat on, so I shouldn't be getting too wet. Probably look like a complete idiot with a blue hat on, but come on, grow flax plants. We need string. Okay, that's growing up quite well. This time it is to the southeast. We're going in the northwesterly direction over the hill. Because this series is called Overhill. And yes. This rain is actually much nicer than vanilla rain. I like it. Do we see any farmhouses or anything? Okay, so that's the direction we came from originally. 
that's where our plantation is. What about back down the road? Because there's some flowers, they're not going to be too much of a help. Back down the road, there's not a whole lot to see. There's the plantation. I mean, it may be a good idea to follow the road. But I don't know whether that's a good idea now that we're actually growing flax. So... I mean, we'll go directly over to the road. Here we are. And we'll follow the road down. So we've got to sort of remember that the general sort of coordinate was about 700, 800. So if we run down here and just keep an eye out on both sides, we may hopefully be able to find ourselves uh, farms and be able to get ourselves some string of flax. But apart from that, we're just going to have a bit of a run. My throat's getting a little sore, so if there's a noticeable change in my voice, I apologise. We're at the sort of the 45 minute mark now. So we'll go for another like 15 minutes or so, and then I will say goodbye until next time. But this is sort of like a live stream kind of dealio where I can sit down record such like that because a live stream they've never really been my taste because I they're like no one ever watches them so not on my channel anyway because I'm still a very very small channel but maybe in the series uh, the next season of this it could be a live stream series but I just like the idea of having super long episodes and such like that so we've reached the top of overhill and there is a tavern called the ugly wander the ugly wanderer I am the ugly wanderer I'm actually gonna take that as a thumbnail for this episode because that's quite funny that's gonna be my thumbnail for this episode and this episode is gonna be called the ugly wanderer because that actually tickled my funny bone quite there so I actually enjoyed that so we got fish that, that goes in the pouch. Does mushroom pie go in the pouch? It does. So we're, we're collecting stuff for the pouch is essentially what we're doing now. Uh, pork, steak, bread, all stuff for the pouch. So how, how are our supplies looking at the moment? Oh, they're going quite decently. Um, yeah, we're, we're stocking up quite well on all the food and stuff, so we won't uh, run out of food. Lembas is what we're going to be primarily be living off as soon as we can get some of that though. Okay, so we want to go in this side is where the item frames are because there's sometimes nice stuff. Is that a sheriff's hat? That's a leather hat with a feather. I want the feathered one. Replace it with our blue one. There you go. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so I've got a feathered hat now. Now the question is, can I dye the feathered blue, ha uh, the feathered hat, and I want to dye it orange? So I've seen this orange flower here, a marigold, orange dye. No, you can't dye the feathered hat. Question is actually, can we get a dyed hat like our blue hat and put a feather in it? Or is it? It flew all the way over there. Can we make this hat feathered? Oh, we can. Okay, I'm happy now. We'll leave that there. Sorted. Right. Okay, let's leave. Oh, we got a quest. Seven apples, except how many do we have? Four and three. Does it matter what colour? Okay, so it has to be the green apples. So, can we find any more green apples? Okay. Okay. Apparently throwing plates at people or is attacking them or like some sort of assault or something. Who would have known throwing plates at someone actually? That makes a little sense. Eight books. How many do I have? Not a whole lot. Oh, I've got eight. Except. There you go. Plus 20. Give me all the monies. There we go. So I'm... Yeah, I didn't even realise. So it looks like taverns are a good place to... Uh, get friends and get quests and stuff completed because yeah oh so you can be oh I can't buy anything off you yet can I buy stuff off you trade uh, I can buy alcohol and food but 
I can't really sell anything. I don't need to buy alcohol or food. Are there apples down here? No. I will find you apples, my good sir. My quest now is to find apples to bring back to the pub at the end of the road. So, I need to get more apples. Where can I get apples? Um, I mean, like, I've stopped picking up apples and now I need them. So, and I can snack on these ones for a bit. The farmhouse might have apples. Actually, we could actually buy apples from the farmhouse. That seems like a likely thing to do. And then when we buy some stuff from the farmhouse, we will get some more hobbit points, I think. Is that how it works? So let's go up here. Let's have a look in here. No apples in there. But do you sell apples, my good, good person? No, you do not. Um, okay. Not helpful. Sorry. Goodbye. We need apples. Where can a person get some apples for a hobbit? Does anybody know? Hmm. I'm trying to think where a good place to get apples would be. I mean, I'll revisit the flax plants in a minute. But if we don't get flax grown this episode, it's not a huge issue. It's just going to be kind of annoying. So, no apples. A red... Invitation by Pilbo Baggins. <laughs> Message to... Be delivered to Otho Sackville Baggins Longbottom. Dear Mr. Sackville Baggins, it is my pleasure to invite you and your family to the celebration of my 111th birthday party to be held at the party field Hobbiton on the 22nd of September, hoping that you will attend Bilbo Baggins. That's really cool to find that. That is really cool. They've improved this mod a lot. I love it. This is why I love this mod. Just little trinkets like that you can find is so great. And I'm holding on to that. That's amazing. So either the episode will end with the quest for apples or the failure for the quest for apples. Troll gold. I will collect books because we've seen that books are actually quite useful. But what does troll gold? Hill trolls tall as pine trees. Oh, hill trolls tall as pine trees waiting in the deep night. Must fear the sun's great might lest they turn to dark stone. Many dwarves are roaming the land in search of gold. But those who are too bold will feed the troll with trolls their bone. The few who succeed nor fall to the lurking orc will find the trolls rich hoard of silver gold mithril. Now they can live like kings until they sink to grave. Soon orcs crawl from the cave from the dead to steal. Well then, just as I was saying about trinkets, we find that thing, which is, that's great. That's, this is honestly such a great mod. I love it. It's great. Right, let's go check on the flax, and then we will sort of wrap this episode up a little bit. Because, yeah, we're getting there. Except, do we have seven cooked pork chops? Four. Sorry. I've only got four at the moment. We will come back to you when we have more. So, down here is the lake where the flax was growing, and these are spiky plants. So... Maybe this house actually has apples or and or pork chops. So we'll take the pork chops out there as well. And hopefully we'll actually have some luck in here. Apples! How many do we need? We need... Oh, well, we need one more. It's going to turn into the search for the cherries all over again. I know it is. More books. Perfect. Let's hold on to them. Okay, so we need one more apple. One more apple and then we can finish up. I... Oh, we, we may have some grown flax. I don't know. We will have a look. I assume the flax will have fully grown when the blue flowers start to show on it. So I think there's one more stage in the flax before we can harvest it. But we do need a few more pork chops and a few more... Uh, seven cooked pork chops and oh, we have our red book of course seven cooked pork chops and three more apples, okay 
that's more peaceful. The rain's gone. That is a lot more peaceful. It's it's actually really nice and blissful now. Right, so we got a house over here. Oh no, these were the houses we just went in. Um, uh, maybe the barn and the house over here may have our apples or pork shops, and then we can finish up some quests and end the episode ready to harvest flax next episode. Get our backpack and go exploring sort of around the wide depths of Hobbiton, I guess. Not, not just Hobbiton. I keep saying of Hobbiton, and what I really mean is of the Shire. But, yeah. I was so used to having my home in Hobbiton that... Okay, do you sell apples? No, you do not. Do you have apples? No, you do not. But you do have some steak that I can steal. Brilliant. I wonder if we look in the bookshelves, do they have random books in them? I don't think so. And that means you can use bookshelves as sort of book storage. Right, okay. So, no luck in the house itself. Uh, no luck in the farm itself. Maybe in this little house next door we can find... Apples or pork, fingers crossed. I do not entirely know. So, oh, apples, perfect. Okay, so we got all the apples and there's pork. Not enough pork though, so we need to get ourselves back over to the apple guy and we can complete that quest and end the episode. One mead, Does, is there mead in here? Is this mead? That's just a ceramic mug, there's nothing in that. What, what do you have in your keg? Ale. No? Okay. Right, red book. Apples. Let's click that one. Uh, we need to get on the road. Road is in this direction. We need to go to the apple guy, give him his apples, and then we'll end the episode. And then, I need to probably go get my hair cut. Is, I'm cutting this very fine, so... Apple guy. Uh, we may as well actually double check the flax. Actually, no, that's quite a ways away. Let's get up to the apple guy and end the episode there. Let's go. It's not far, the apple guy. I like how I refer to him solely as the apple guy. Now, let's eat, let's have some cooked pumpkin pie. That will keep us going. Apple guy is not far. I forgot what his name was. There he is, he's up in there. Let's, what was his name again? Gorbalus. Gorbalus Gamwich. I think Apple Guy suits him a bit more, but we'll go give Gorbalus his apples. Right. He should be, yep, he's still in the tavern. Let's go and give him his apples, and then we will be done with this quest. I wonder if the pub actually has uh, any stuff. So, oh, he's drunk off his face. Come on, Gorbel, let's take your apples. Because he's drunk, can I not give him the apples? Here. Take my apples. Right, well, because he's drunk, it doesn't look like I can actually give him his apples. Because that's really helpful. Well, we'll see. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Just, he's just drinking and drinking and he's going to pass out in a minute, isn't he? Right, where are you going down the cellar for? You know, the apples are here. Come on. Right, okay. I think I'm going to leave this episode here with Gorbala's Gamwich, the Hobbit, drunk off his face, and you're a little small for an olive. I'm not an elephant. Right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.